Listen to part of a lecture in an economics class. Trickle-down economics is a theory that proposes that tax cuts on businesses and the wealthy in society will stimulate business investment and spur economic growth, in which the benefits will trickle down to everyone else. This theory assumes that investors and company owners are the real drivers of the economy, and they will use the added income saved from tax cuts to expand their businesses. The trickle-down policy worked during Ronald Reagan's presidency, which helped end the 1980 recession. Reagan made significant tax cuts, but at the same time, he also increased government spending, which resulted in tripling the federal debt in eight years. As trickle-down economics was never tested in its pure form, many presumed that the tremendous government spending was what ended the recession. President George Bush had also taken the trickle-down approach and passed massive tax cuts for the rich, and cut income taxes with the Economic Growth and Tax Relief Reconciliation Act. These economic policies ended the recession, but it is unclear whether the tax cuts or monetary policy recovered the economy. The proponents of trickle-down economics will say that the tax cuts under the Reagan and the Bush administration should have helped people at all income levels in society. However, it turned out that the opposite occurred in reality, where it is seen to have exacerbated income and wealth inequality. Many critics believe that the trickle-down policy has done more harm than good to the U.S. economy, since it has led to devastating results when applied at the federal and state level. Although the theory postulates that the benefits from tax cuts would eventually flow down to benefit middle and low-income people, it generally does not work. Question 2. What can be inferred about trickle-down economics theory? 